Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about identifying more tools. The tools we will be going over are Torx. Now to give you an idea of what a Torx is, a Torx is a six point tool of some sort, right? And uh, they come in different shapes and forms and I'm going to teach you how to identify them here today. Okay guys, so here we are, Torx. I've brought out a couple different types of Torx tools, okay? They come in many different shapes and forms, but I'm gonna show you the ones I have. Um, uh, Torx is known for this design. It's a six point external, right? It almost looks like the head of a, of a nut or, a, or bolt, except it's not flat, it's got points instead, right? Um, uh, these are all called Torx, T-O-R-X, Torx. And uh, you can identify them pretty much the same way you would identify a socket. If you do not know how to identify a socket, I do have a video on that, so you might want to watch that one first. I'll link it anyway um, uh, at the end of the video. Uh, this guy right here, you would identify it a very similar way. Um, this is a Torx. You would have to find the size. Torx uh, use measurements as uh, in a, in a increments of five. So, for example, it'll start with Torx five. This one here is a T55. So this one's a Torx 55, meaning this is a size 55. Um, uh, this one over here. Wow, I brought all 55s. That normally doesn't happen. Um, uh, but anyway, the size is T and then whatever digits you have. If you have a T5, then that means that you would have a Torx that has a size of 5. This one's a T55, so it's T with the 55 right there, right? Um, um, then of course you would need to know the drive size, okay? Which in this case happens to be half inch. I got another one here, which is a three eighths drive. As you can see, is a a bit smaller, right? So three eighths drive, half inch drive, T fifty five with a Torx, correct? And then you would have to check to see if this is either deep or shallow, which in this case would be called long or short, or sometimes they call them stubby too. Um, uh, and that's pretty much how you identify a Torx. Now there's different types of Torx. You have a, a regular Torx and then you have tamper-proof torque, which the only difference between the two really is the hole in the middle, right? And these are identified a little different. One, you can, you can see that it has a hole in the middle, so that would make this a T. H, right? A hollow Torx. So you would have T, 55 for the size, and then H for hollow. Now it's important to know that you can use this tool on any type of nut that has the, uh, the tamper proof in the center or one that doesn't have it. This will work for both. This guy will not. If you have a tamper-proof section on the bolt, like that would require a hole to go through it, this tool will not work. So if you had to choose between which ones to buy out of the two, obviously having both is always better. But if you have to put, uh, uh, pick between one, I would go with the hollow first and then later on buy the solids, okay? Um, uh, these are the ones you can attach sockets to. They also come in Allen key. Uh, form which is like this. These are these are regular uh, Allen keys, but they also come in these uh, L bar style uh, wrenches, right? Um, those aren't too useful. I probably wouldn't use those too much, but uh, these are great because you can use heavy torque on them. And as you can see on this one, you can kind of see how the teeth are already kind of bent. It's because the amount of torque I've put on this thing. And this one that's meant to take lots of torque still 
um, uh, bends and sometimes strips away. So imagine an actual Allen key. Uh, this is another Torx. As you can see, it's much smaller, right? But it's hooked up to a driver, a screwdriver. So this would be called a Torx driver. Okay, and you would identify it the same way. This guy here has a size. So we would have to find hit the size on, uh, sometimes they have it on the handle. This is a, uh, a Craftsman, so it may not, it does not have it on a handle. That is not the size. So I guess in Craftsman case, you would have to guess which one this is. Um, looking at it, it looks like it might be a, let's see, uh, 15, maybe a 20, a Torx 15, Torx 20, but nonetheless, same sizes, T20, T5, T10, T15, T55, however, just on a screwdriver, right? Those are the different ways you can identify Torx. Now that's about it when it comes to identifying Torx. Um, there's many different brands, many different types of styles, um, uh, but more or less those are the ones you're gonna be using when it comes to cars. Um, are these Torx extremely common that you must have a set? Um, I think so. Uh, more and more cars are using them today. European cars love Torx. Uh, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, uh, Audi, Volkswagen, all of those car manufacturers, you could not do anything on those cars if you did not have a decent Torx set. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and if you have any questions about Torx sockets, Torx in general, or any tools or car related questions, please send them to educated grease monkey at gmail.com or of course you can follow me on any one of the platforms snapchat instagram twitter periscope as at carlos m de oro you could just ask me there or tune in every friday at 1 p.m for my live q a on periscope 1 p.m eastern time and you can ask me live on there okay Till next time, guys. Duh.